hello, YouTube, it's me, 8508 here at Bum Drafting Super Speedway, one of the new races of the MSL Apex Series and Universal Lando Cup Series here. Uh, so let's get to the racing here. On the poles, Alex Jones, second, John Dillon, third, Zach Hoffschneider, fourth, Jake Williams, sixth, Anthony Emery, fifth, Dylan Popey, seventh, James Silfrock, eighth, Kyle Sosnowski, ninth, Jason Matchmore, and nine, top ten, Alan Smith, your previous race winner. The rest of the field from 11 to 40 seconds. Cody Wallace will be starting last. We're here for 12 laps. Any driver can win this. And we will be racing in two more Super Speedways before heading into race number 20 at New Hampshire before the getting ready of the chase. And then the LCQ will be coming up. So this is crunch time for both series for any of these drivers. We know that Everest, Eric Burton, and Dylan Posey are trying very hard for the points lead. But I think once when the chase begins, it's not going to matter. It's going to matter on who's going to get the win. So it could be Sam B and Silver Fox or even Anthony Emery. We're getting that points lead on the chases. Here we go. Alex Jones leads the spin on green flag is out. And look where Dylan Pokey is starting fifth. John Dillon, who's a race um, race winner this season, he started second. Here's the thing about the bump draft into the speedway in case you never knew what this track is. The name resembles itself, bump drafting. Well, you can bump draft very good in this track. However, I'm sorry for the lags there. Hoffschneider takes the lead. Three wide is good. Four wide, it's all right. You can't lean on the person, though. But five wide, that spells trouble. And meanwhile, as we, you know, this is a track where swapping leaders is common. As now, who's going to lead at the stripes? Silverfox will. As you look at the back, Cody Wallace is all the way back. And there will always be that one driver who will be a little bit outside the pack, but will catch up very, very soon if they focus on that car who they're going to draft with, so which Cody Wallace is doing, and he will easily get back up there. Oh, big wreck! Wow, way to go. And Hoffner was late on a point! Just had to pull the front. Stupid lag. I think Gallagher was involved. Yes, he was. Charles involved, and oh, here we go. Look at this battle for the lead. Who's going to be at the stripe? And it is Nicholas Guerra. Oh, barely. I mean, one driver I have been keeping on during the um, practice and the happy hour is this person here, Lindsey Johnson. This could be a threat for the win. Harvick, Silver Fox. Oh, they're slamming each other. Oh, Garner got slammed. Silver Fox, that was the first one. Our championship contender, and Zach Harvick. Not Zach Harvick. Tom Cap, excuse me. He is involved. Sorry for the background. It's my dog and my stupid cousin. Well, that's going to end Silver Fox and the 70s series. Of Don Pops. We'll talk for the first time. Take you back to see what brought us our first caution in the race. Noah! Noah! Yeah. Take your clothes away. Yeah, Grandma, I heard you. First. Noah! Get over here. Take me out. Stop. Don't look at the dog. Here's a right. We're back. Here's where we brought ourselves the first caution of the race. Watch carefully where the contact begins. It's John Dillon and Dom Caps. Dillon. Oh, dang. Hoshner just nailed Silverfox. Dillon, I don't think, got damaged. 
There's Charles. Sorry for the lag set. I think Sam B got a piece of it. There's Charles. We know Gowdy got a piece of the wreck. There's John Dillon getting damaged, but John Dillon did get a piece of it. There's Gowdy getting his damage. Lamas gets held up. Walton gets a slight piece of the same as Schultz. And I believe the Max held up. Rogers may have gone to golf as well. Tougher downs and Well, that was it. Let's take you back to the green. We are back in uh, three drivers have retired. Jackson, Caps, and Silver Fox. Tough break for Silver Fox. He was up in there in the points. So we're at 6 of 12, halfway mark. It is still anyone's game, except for the cars who got that damage off that rack. Guerrero leads, Carpenter second, Heat third, Joseph Bryant uh, fourth, uh, fifth, Austin Ogo, sixth, Bill Lovett, seventh, Lindsey Jones, eighth, Stephen Dillon, ninth, Dean Will, and round is up there to take a while. I made a mistake about Joseph Bryant. He actually won the previous race, so I apologize for that. Uh, race 17, Daytona night. 11th is Snosky, 12th, Aaron Williams, 3rd, or, wow, 13th is Tyler Evers, 14th, Dylan Post, Heat, 15th, Jason Matchmore, 7th, uh, 16th, Alan Smith, 17th, Trevor Jackson, 18th, Sam Young, 19th, Leah Walker, and 20th is Luke Walker, 21st, Eric Burden, 22nd, Anthony Emery, 23rd, Alex Jones, 24th, Jake Williams, 25th, Sam B, 26th, Jackson Emery, 27th, Justin Tallapass, 28th, Dylan Young, 29th, Mike Newman, and rounding out the top 30 is Sean Gallagher the rest of the field. Walton, Lamas, Schultz, uh, that's Houston, Demax, Seth Cole, Johnny Gardner, and John Dillon. Green flag is out. And we have gotten word that Hoshner has retired from the race. So now, look at Josh, he's going three wide already. Oh, no, he's still on pit road, never mind. You can tell these drivers... Some of them have gotten affected a lot there, and the drivers who got very little damage are still racing fine, like Wilhelm Schultz and Sean Galgan and even Eric Burton, or Eric Burton off the pace. Oh, Eric Burton is off the pace. He might have had some damage. Probably didn't see because of that stupid glitch. Or there's something wrong with the three, and it's not going well for him. Everyone's passing. I don't know what's going on there. Tough break for him, but... This is the pack racing that we all love. And I'll tell you something. Look at Tyler Everest. Not in the best position ever. Oh, he made slight contact with Dylan Lovett. And look who's also in that type of situation, too. That's Danny Wells, Austin Ogo. Wells really needs a good run in order to get himself back up in the points. But time's running out. And these super speedway races, these are good, especially heading into the LCQ race, which I'll explain about that right now. I've decided that it will be over at Talladega 2010 version daytime instead of Zen Jolt this night. Yes, that's Cole there. He is there. And uh, the damage cars. And the 10 car and the 30, they are up with them with the 11, 50, and 30 who are trying to catch up to the pack. And now the 38 and 10 is in the pack now. There's only lap 9 to 12. Walton is back in, in the 11, and Dylan Young in the 50 is back in. Now we're missing the two cars who want to join. That's Jackson Emery and Rod Houston. And, oh, we got a big wreck again. That's probably going to end the race. Oh, my God. Big-ass wreck. Big-ass wreck. Everson off. Garrett's flipping. Aaron Williams flipping. And the race back to the line. Gallagher and Maul. Lawler and Maul. Where's the leaders? It's Alex Jones that's leading. Get the hell out of here. Coming up final corner. This is a race back to life for the win. And it's going to be Alex Jones that's going to win this race. Are you serious? Alex Jones probably just pulled off one of the most shocking wins there. Starting on the pole. He just won. Oh, my.
my god. That was a big wreck. How did Michael Rome finish 10th? Newman finished 6th. Jake Williams. Oh, Alan Smith. Danny Wells. Williams. Leah Walker. Schultz. Nicholas Kira. Sean Young and Johnny Gardner. Why should I swear? To Max Lovett. Young. Dylan Young. Jackson. Well, Trevor Jackson. Jackson Emery. Um, there was more. We saw Everest around. Matchmore. Keep. Lindsey Johnson. Sosnowski. Are you kidding me? Another finish where Steve Gill and Don Dillon finished with each other. Everest. Probably going to end up 15th. And Dylan Pote is going to end up 11th. 11th place. We're going to take a look really quickly to brought ourselves what could be the final caution in the race as Alex Jones leads us as we got a couple laps to go. Okay, we're back here. Watch very carefully. Everest is leaning on Danny Wells. Gets into Alan Smith and Trevor Jackson, and then there they all go. Right there. And crap. Let's go back a little, you know, a little bit on this. Let's see who started it, and I think it might have been the six, if I recall. Let's see, there's the six making the contact, and it is the six car. Everest caused the wreck, and there's Alan Smith just getting a piece. Ogo actually got a piece, but kept going and actually did well. Leo Walker is seeing Cody Lawton gets clipped. Matt Moore, there's Waller. Look at Dylan Young, Wilhelm Schultz. I, oh, Dylan Young just gets clipped as well as Wilhelm. Wilhelm's going to shoot right into Alan Smith. Now, I kind of wonder what happened. Okay, Guerra got clipped again and again. And then he flips over Guerra. But how did Aaron Williams get involved? There's the 30. Oh, with the help of the 41, he's going to go for a flip. How did Galligan get involved? Let's see what happens. Oh, he got Leo Walker. Mm, that ends his day. Well, let's take you back to the bring yourselves to finish the race. And we are back here in perfect timing. Coming to start finish line, Alex Jones has got his first victory in the NSL. He has won, and this is huge. Sam D will get second. Callum Pass, third. Luke Walker, fourth. Jake Williams, and I kept mistaken with the Williams there. He got fifth. That's his best career finish. Sixth, Newman. Seventh, Sam Young. Eighth, Austin Ogre. I don't know how he finished eighth despite getting that hit. Ninth, Anthony Emery, 10th, Michael Wolm. Bryant, 14th, Everest, 15th, Poti, 11th. Ozzy Johnson, 19th. Sosnowski, 21st. Seth Colt, 23rd. Eric Burton, despite a poor restart, the second, the first restart, he eventually, you know, made it through those wrecks, ends up 24th, as there were 28 cars in the race, as the 29th car was on pit road. So congrats to Alex Jones, May 6, 7, 5, 3, 0, 9, 8, 5, 8. Here come the results of the race.